Now, I want to kind of start off before we get to the fun stuff that we were kind of discussing before this. So you're from, I think I was going through your, your profile. You've probably seen our feature profile today. I was just trying to uh, line some stuff together. Oh, so yeah. Are you from New York? Uh, no, I'm from Philly. Okay. You're from Philly. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least I kind of got it right. East Coast, East Coast. <laughs> and so coming out of Philly, did you know that you wanted to go to school and major in something STEM related? No, actually, well, maybe I originally was actually a nursing major. And then I freshman year orientation, I went into they I think they cover like all the classes you're supposed to go through. And it was like orgo, chem, bio. And I realized I'm not really like a life sciences kind of person. Um, And also I'm scared of blood. So it's like it makes no sense for me to be a nurse. Um, although they do amazing work. I kudos to them. And I decided to switch into computer science and it was kind of just for fun because I knew it was with my old classmates from high school majored in CS. So I was just like, all right, let me just try this. And I ended up not doing too well in a a few math classes. (laughs) So I switched to IST, which is information science and technology. And it's, it's basically like IT, but in my school, they call this like the CS dropouts. I think they do, I think they do that for a lot of schools, <laughs> if you've heard of that before. But uh, yeah, so I basically joined IST and I honestly really like the classes. There are a few cybersecurity classes, but not that many. It wasn't until like my senior year when I was looking for a full-time job that I even applied for cybersecurity roles. So yeah, not on my radar. Interesting that you say uh, CS dropouts. I was the person, technically I was an architecture dropout and went to mm. computer information systems because I didn't feel like dealing with the math, dealing with the, some of the language barriers with the teachers. And mm. I wanted to in, kind of like enjoy myself. And I saw anybody had to do anything engineering in college was always busy and was mad stressed. True. <laughs> so True. that's the reason why I didn't want to go there. And I always felt like when I went to computer information systems that the technical skills that I possibly didn't, well, would not gain there, the soft skills that I would gain in that type of major would eventually pan out for me in the long run, which has held to be true. true. Mm -hmm. So I saw that you did that too, because that was interesting to me. I said, okay, we pretty much got similar major. Like yours is information systems, mine is computer information systems. So it's like really the same thing, just a different name. Mm-hmm. But I did see. So, what year was it? I guess into your career that you got that first internship. Mm. So my first official internship was my junior year of college. So this was like 2018 summer. Okay. Before that, I was mostly working part time jobs that weren't that tech related. I had like a work study job that I was doing. Uh, I worked in a computer lab. I did teaching assistant jobs. Yeah. Yeah. I see a lot of parallels between our backgrounds, honestly. Um, yeah. So I, I didn't have anything official until junior year, but I was applying since like freshman year. I just didn't get anything, which, and I actually, I applied. So my first internship junior year was with JP Morgan and I applied freshman year and sophomore year. And I didn't make it both of those years. So their time is, is what's, what's the quote? Their time is the the best or something. I don't know. Right. Third time's um, a charm. Yeah, third time's a charm. Um, yeah, so that was actually a, it was for a TAP technology analyst program. And I was actually mostly doing software engineering, front end, front end engineering. And, but my team was actually focused on basically like securing the data for certain internal tools. And it wasn't, I wasn't technically in a cybersecurity internship, but it had cybersecurity components to it that I could talk about in my future cybersecurity interviews. So it actually perfectly aligned. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's cool. And so one of the things is I've, I've been in the game for about a decade now. And so mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure you've talked to people that want to get cybersecurity. I talked to people that want to get into cybersecurity. One of the things I always tell them is like, you may think you want to do something, but you really never know until you do yes. it. Was that so what software engineering was for you? Um, sort of, yeah. So I actually didn't like coding for a long time. 
I, I mean, I switched into this major because I knew there was going to be some kind of job security. I mean, nowadays the market's different, but this was back in like 2015 when I chose my major. So like CS majors were like, like everyone wanted to be a CS or everyone knew the CS majors would probably have like a decent chance to find a job after college. And I was like, you know, that's, that's kind of my goal going to college. So I, I ended up like doing a whole bunch of coding classes. I actually got a D in my first coding class. So, you know, I, I'm not the best, I'm not the best developer. I, I'm well at first, but uh, I ended up taking a few like, C sharp classes and I actually really like C sharp. I think it was mostly because I had a really great professor. I ended up TAing for him for two semesters. And he basically taught me that, hey, coding can be enjoyable. Um, but then when I was looking for full-time jobs my senior year, I was applying to everything. I was applying to data analyst roles because I had some background experience doing some undergrad research in a data. It was like a bioinformatics role. It was part of my school. And I did software engineering. And there's also like some cybersecurity roles. But the way that I got my first job in cybersecurity was actually going to a, a tech conference and basically interviewing there. But coding, I always thought I could go back to it if I like really wanted to. But cybersecurity was like the interesting thing that I kind of never thought I would have a career in. And that was like, all right, well, this is the most interesting. So I thought it was like a good shot to go into after graduating. Okay. Yeah. Cause funny enough, I always feel like when I look at some cybersecurity job postings, I'm mm -hmm. like, y'all are looking for a software engineer. <laughs> oh, software really? Engineer. That's like, crazy. That's what I feel like for like a lot of roles, but you kind of answered one of my questions. So I know I kind of want to flesh it out. Mm -hmm. 